There are many different types of fishing activity that occur in the UK. The industry is extremely diverse. One of those activities is called scallop dredging. And this is where fishermen go to sea in boats, trawlers if you like, and they tow fishing gear behind the vessel. And the fishing gear has to be in close contact with the seabed. The scallop dredges have to be extremely robust, they're made out of metal, and by their nature they have to be extremely heavy. They're being dragged over sand, and in some cases they're being dragged over gravels, and sometimes even rocks. So if they were made out of simple net material, they'd just be torn to shreds very often and worn out very quickly. Because of the weight of the fishing gear, and because of the environment in which it's fished, it's very robust and the consequence of that means that the animals that come into contact with that type of fishing gear often sustain very high levels of mortality. So the big environmental issue around scallop fishing is the fact that it can cause uh, high levels of damage to certain, certain types of seabed habitat and it can cause relatively high mortalities, death rates, to certain types of animals that live on the seabed. However, the most important thing to appreciate is the seabed is not a uniform environment. It's a highly diverse environment with many different types of habitat. And these range in their diversity, as we see in terrestrial systems, from habitats as complicated as tropical rainforests to habitats as simple and as barren as deserts uh, that we find in the, Sahara, in the Sahara, for example. And there's an equal diversity in the types of animals that live there very high diversity in certain habitats, very low diversity of species in other habitats. Now the consequence of that means that the effect of fishing activity like scallop dredging is going to vary very considerably depending on the type of habitat in which it actually occurs. Now what that means is in some coastal waters which are subject to very high levels of natural disturbance from winter storms and high current velocities the animals that live in that habitat naturally are adapted to these high levels of disturbance. It's a very harsh place to be as an organism. When you start scallop fishing in these type of environments, the effect of that uh, additional activity, that additional disturbance, is relatively minor compared to all the natural disturbance that's occurring. So if you like, scallop dredging can be considered to be quite sustainable from an environmental point of view in these sorts of habitats. In many ways, they're the ideal place to actually go fishing. However, there are other types of habitats where species diversity is much higher and they're more complicated, um, where the habitats are more sensitive to fishing activities like scallop dredging. 